7 September 2007 They are placing the final wind turbine head on its mast. A very tricky exercise, 100 meters high. This is the last component of a system that henceforth will enable Volvo to be a CO2 emission-free industrial producer. Volvo trucks in Ghent, Belgium. More than 40,000 trucks produced a year. High energy consumption in heat and electricity. And therefore, CO2 emissions of more than 11,000 tons a year. The equivalent of a village. In 2004, the group reached a very ambitious decision to end up in 2007 with a factory with zero CO2 generation. As a company, we need to have a long-term vision in order to take up our social responsibility for the next generation. Uh, from an industrial side, we have an impact and we can reduce, we can reduce uh, our impact to the environment. And I think we own that to, uh, to our children, to our grandchildren, to do more than what is strictly necessary. First part of the operation, energy consumption. Objective, 20% reduction. That means completely rethinking the installations. The work premises have been rearranged and refitted. For example, large openings have been cut into the roof to allow more natural daylight to flood in. Building is underway on a new building, which will be passive, that is to say, that its energy consumption will be fully offset by solar power and the construction materials used. All these measures to rationalize energy consumption were examined in cooperation with Electrobel. We have been reducing energy consumption by 23% during the last five years and in that period we also increased production with uh, 33 percent so that is quite an achievement. I think that the Volvo project proves to the public that Electrobel is greener than one thinks. Uh, the fact that we were able to answer the whole portfolio which Volvo was asking in the CO2 free plant uh, proves to the public that we have a lot of options in our sustainable energy portfolio to supply to the people. The fact that they are uh, experienced in, in wind turbines and also biomass uh, power plants was a, I think a very good uh, motivation to choose for Electravel. <laughs> The second part of the operation relates to heat generation. In the existing steam boiler, which used to work on fossil fuels, the burners have been replaced to convert it to biofuel. It will be used only for peak consumption and will supply 30% of the annual heat generation. Not far from there, a brand new building, which has been designed according to environmentally friendly criteria. The materials used for it are fully recyclable. This fine structure houses a new boiler powered by biomass. This will cover 70% of the factory's heat requirements. It is fed with wood pellets produced in the Netherlands. What is really new to this boiler and why we call it the boiler of the 21st century is that it can easily deal with different kinds of fuels because nobody knows what in one or five or ten years will be the biomass fuels available on the market. So Electrabel and Volvo have with this energy plant an energy plant that is ready for all the biomass fuels for the future. Finally, the third part, electricity generation. 
Electrobel will supply electricity guaranteed to be 100% free of CO2 emissions. Half of the site's electricity requirements will be produced on site by wind turbines. 6 megawatts of capacity for the three turbines. In addition, photovoltaic cells have been installed on the roof of the new boiler. The remaining electricity requirements will be supplied by Electrobel from the dams of its CNR subsidiary, Alp Energy, from hydraulic energy and therefore with no CO2 emissions. The mixed electricity generation system, wind, hydraulic, solar, was developed by Electrobel to achieve maximum efficiency while at the same time keeping to a production cost that does not penalize the manufacturer. The fact that Volvo makes land available on an industrial site in a very dense country where there's very little, little land available is already part of the win-win. The fact that we can supply this energy directly to the end customer makes it even more win-win because of the fact that an Electrobel and Volvo can avoid transport costs in exporting and importing energy. So this element is very important in making this project uh, economically feasible. We started this project starting from our core values and we believe that uh, working towards environment that that would be uh, good enough for us. Yeah. That that itself is, is, a, is a goal as such. Um, but uh, as we proceeded through the project uh, we of course saw that uh, it has an economical advantage